Hey everyone, it's Aaron, Prepping Ohio. It is hot today. I don't know what the humidity is, but the temperature is already at 88. And you can see it's not even 11.30 in the morning yet. And it is hot. So, I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot outside today. Especially since I got my little guy with me. We're probably just going to stay inside where it's nice and cool. Well, since it's so hot out today, I thought I'd cheat a little bit. I'm using a crock pot. Here we got some beef ribs in here. A little bit of sweet baby rays. And some water. That's really all it takes. Now, that and a lot of time. It'll take probably six hours or so for these guys to cook in a crock pot. But it'll be well worth it. Uh, there's the sweet baby rays that I just used. I only use about a quarter of that, but I use it so often I get the giant jug, the big old, the big old giant jug here. It's now just a little bit after one. Let's see how these guys are doing in here. Set that down there. Oh, look at that. Aren't those looking good? Yeah, they're cooking up nicely. Yeah, just, just old beef ribs here. Like I might add just a little bit more barbecue sauce in there. Yeah, that's that's looking nice. Where are we at? Okay. Okay, I'll set this here on the plate. That's gonna be good. Now I was gonna make cornbread with this, but I don't have any milk, so found this in the cupboard. If you've never had these before, try them. They are very good. I could eat these just by themselves all day long. These things are great. Never tried them with barbecued ribs before, but hey, it can't hurt to try it. So, man, it smells good in here already. Can't wait till this is done. Yeah, we probably got a few more hours anyway, for three or four hours. These little things take forever to cook, of course, but I kind of like it, especially when I'm working kind of close to home. Get up an extra hour early, have some coffee, throw something in a crock pot, and when I come home, oh, well, it's nice and ready to go now I have forgot <laughs> this is some, well, I have a couple small crock pots like this these don't automatically shut off I made a deer roast one time stuffed it all full in the morning got it good and going put it on medium and I was working about 12 hours come home well I forgot it <laughs> woke up next morning got coffee went off to work come back just pulled in the driveway and remembered it come in the house it stunk it boiled the water clear out of it it looked like uh you ever use that dog food that you add the water to and it turns to that mush well that's what it looked like though so, and that's actually what it became it became dog food but old ben was pretty happy about it so this one doesn't automatically shut off <laughs> so don't make the mistake that i did forget about it so yeah we're gonna try these with the barbecued ribs and hopefully Hopefully they'll be okay. Well, we're coming up on 3.30. Look at it boiling. And if you could smell that. Oh, wow, it fogged up the camera. Okay. Let's see. See what's going on in here. Look at that. Isn't that looking good? You can probably hear my son playing his tablet in the background. Look at that. That's starting to look good. It's still pretty tough. So, got some time left in it. A couple more hours and it'll be ready to go. Man, it smells good in here. Can you hear that? It's going in waves. The cicadas, they get loud and then they get quiet. Like they're all synced up. There's thousands of them. And it just, it, it comes in waves. That's weird. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. That's kind of neat. I wonder what that frequency is. Oh, that's pretty cool. I hope you can hear that on the video. That's pretty neat. Well, here we are, folks. It's 531. 
Let's see what this looks like now. A lid off there. My fork. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Let's see. Look at those ribs. They cook down nicely. Let's see. Are they tender? Can we get? Can we get this guy? Oh, look at that. It's falling right apart. Look at that. It fell right apart. Okay. So I'm going to kick this over onto warm, and then I'm going to start the biscuits. Look at that little guy right there. Look, it just comes right off there. Of course, the camera won't focus. I need a better camera. But, how about that? Man, that looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to start the biscuits, and we'll see how that goes. Well, I've got the biscuits here all mixed up. They're, uh sitting there waiting from the oven to preheat going up there and uh now they ain't the prettiest but i really don't care it's food not a flower arrangement <laughs> they're just they're gonna they're gonna look however they look when they come out now i made a little pan out of tin foil just because i didn't feel like dirty in the whole pan and this works just fine this will work just like any other pan this here has kind of the good stuff the seasoning packet they send and a quarter stick of butter now the recipe says uh, I think it said a half a cup of cheese well I really like cheese so I put probably a whole cup in there sharp cheddar ground up or shredded I'm sorry mix it all together and it's sitting here waiting for the oven to warm up which I actually kind of didn't want to do today I didn't want to warm the oven up since it's so warm out today but hey these biscuits man they're definitely going to be worth it and the ribs, they're here on idle. They're just they're just waiting. And <laughs> I'll up the camera again. They're set on warm and they're set on wait. And I can't wait. So here pretty soon. Man, I'm hot. Well folks, here it is. The end result. There's the barbecued beef ribs, the biscuits, and my gosh, they smell so good. I did throw some Bush's baked beans in here, and as a fellow YouTuber would say, I've got my priorities straight. Reminds me of Bill Gowdy. If you don't know Bill Gowdy, go check out his channel on YouTube. He's got a ton of awesome cooking videos, and he does a lot of cooking on the fire. He loves Bush beer. I prefer Bud Light Lime. So, this is what we got, and I'm going to enjoy this. And... <laughs> I've smelled this all day, and I am definitely going to enjoy this. Kind of a funny thing, really. If you put the effort and time and blood, sweat, tears, whatever you want to go that far, into making a meal, it doesn't matter if it comes out bad. It's still something you did, man. You know, just enjoy it. Who cares if, if the biscuits are burnt or if your ribs are overdone or even if... Your bush home style beans out of the can <laughs> didn't turn out the way you want them to. It doesn't make a difference, man. Enjoy it. Enjoy every single thing that you do. And I'm definitely going to enjoy this little fella right here. Okay, folks. Well, <laughs> I'm going to enjoy my evening. I hope everybody's enjoying theirs. And my little guys are throwing stuff at me. But. Enjoy it like you don't have it tomorrow, because you might not. Thanks for watching.